It's a unique moment in our country's automotive history. Not for more than 100 years since the start of Ford and GM have we seen the birth of two new car companies, Fisker and Tesla, both created in an industrial park far, far from Detroit. One of the biggest highlights of the Tesla Model S is the center touchscreen. Every piece of information just about you need to see about the car is readily visible. Everything's laid out in full color. It's really the most intuitive thing I've ever seen. This is a car that comes from a guy with a high technology background and also space. You know, Elon Musk started PayPal and now runs SpaceX. And that high quality level of technology is really clear. The car weighs over 4,600 pounds, and yet it feels very light and easy to drive. One of the other amazing things about the Model S is how spacious it is. Huge rear seat, huge trunk area, something they call the frunk at the front. Because Tesla has put all the battery packs low and across the bottom of the car and the floor, there's all this extra space. One of the only things I don't like about the car, I'll be honest, it's the range. 300 miles is a lot. In fact, the Fisker has the same range. The only problem is, once this is gone, you need to plug in. The founder of the company, Henrik Fisker, started out in the world of car design. He spent years at BMW and then went on to be the head designer at Aston Martin. So he comes to this car build with a much more traditional sensibility about how the auto industry puts a car together. There are two electric motors that drive the rear wheels. And then there is a separate two liter four cylinder gas engine that powers the generator. So it never directly powers the car itself, but it makes the power to drive the electric motors. Now, all of that is great, but there are a lot of parts going on. And sometimes when I drive this car, it feels like they're all on a first date and not married, and they should be married. Already, when you get in the Fisker, it feels much heavier than the Tesla. In fact, the whole interior feels much more cramped. Battery packs run down the center tunnel, so it really creates cockpits for each passenger. The trunk only holds about seven cubic feet. One of the biggest cons of the Fisker Karma is the Fisker Command Center. Yes, there are some fairly intuitive buttons down the side, climate, audio, nav. But even in climate, it's very hard to figure out how to make the temperature go up and down. And I still haven't gotten the auto to work. So I either freeze or rose. So as it turns out, these two electric vehicle solutions are not created equal. The Fisker is gorgeous, environmentally friendly, and protects you from range anxiety. But the car is so overstuffed with technology, the company's having quality issues. The Tesla Model S is a far simpler, easier, more elegant solution. In fact, I think it's safe to say it's a game changer.